In this video, I show you how to fix a black screen on OBS. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like. And let's get right into this guide. At the moment, I don't currently have a black screen in OBS, but I'll be running through the things I did and things that you can try to go and fix the problem. So I've actually got a really popular solution at the end of the video, but at the start, I just want to go over the basics because sometimes those things can easily be messed up. So for the first fix, just come into your sources in one of your scenes. And then what you want to do is just go and add uh, the display capture source. I just find this the best one. I know a lot of people like to use window or game capture, but sometimes that is why the screen is black because those applications aren't currently open or those windows aren't open. So to use display capture, all you need to do is tap on that plus button and then tap on display capture, press OK, and then you can go and choose the monitor you want to go and record. And then yeah, so go and press OK and see if that makes any difference. If that still isn't working, then don't worry, I'm going to go and show you a fix to a problem that a lot of people have. So for this fix, what you'll need to do is go and minimize or close off OBS and just go onto your desktop in a blank space and just right click and press on display settings. You can also get your display settings by searching for it as well. Then what you need to do is go and scroll down this page here and so you go and see the option for related settings and go to graphics on older systems and maybe called advanced graphic settings or something like that then you'll be taken to this page here go to the section called custom options for apps and where it says add an app make sure desktop app is selected and then go and tap on browse and what we need to do is go and add obs so what we need to do to find obs i've already found it here is you need to go and click on this PC, click on local disk. You'll then have program files and program files x86. So you may need to check both of these for OBS. So scroll down and it should be in alphabetical order. I've got OBS Studio here, but you may need to check your x86 folder to find it. Double tap on it and then press on bin, then press 64 bit and then you should have OBS. Tap on it once and then press add just like so and it may say it was already added. That's because I have already added it before, uh, but you may not. Then what you need to do is find it in this list, click on it once and then press options. Now we're going to have a few different options here. Now you may notice that for power saving and high performance, you've got different GPUs. In my case, I've only got one and that's because I only have one GPU. However, a lot of people are going to have two GPUs because one GPU is often inbuilt into the CPU and then they have like another one like Nvidia or maybe an AMD graphics card. So in that case, what I recommend doing is either using power saving or high performance. So start off, if you say got an Intel CPU here, it says GPU Intel, click there and maybe list as power saving and then press save. And then what you should do is go and close off OBS and then go and relaunch it to go and see if that fixes the problem. If it still doesn't fix the problem, then what I recommend doing is going back to options and then trying the high performance option and then press save. Basically, don't just use a let window to side. Try both of them and see if that fixes the problem. And when you make a change, you'll need to go and restart OBS to go and see if it makes any difference. And one of those should go and fix the problem. If you guys found this useful, then please consider leaving a like. Peace.